Oh, okay. It's being live streamed. Okay, we're we're rocking and rolling. So our next guest, everybody, is John Healy. Let me tell you a little bit about John. John he spent 15 fun-packed years teaching English in South Korea before moving his operations online and his family to Italy in 2020 to Florence, I believe. Um, he launched My Speaking Score, the world's most trusted platform for TOEFL speaking prep in 2022. My Speaking Score has students in 115 countries and is growing 30% month over month by showing TOEFL speaking students how to use speech rater, rater data to get consistently high TOEFL speaking scores. And the title of John's workshop today is How ETS's Speech Rater Can Help You Earn a Super High TOEFL speaking score. So John, I'll let you take it away. Thank you, my good man. Thank you, Philip. It's uh, an amazing job as usual that you've done putting together this uh, panel, this group of uh, experts. I know you're helping a lot of people. I know that that on the live is, is one thing and I love speaking live, but uh, you get a lot of replays too, right? And I still get uh, calls from people who saw our la I went last year. So anyway, great, great job. I also want to thank our uh, team uh, be at uh, my speaking score who will be uh, in no doubt watching uh, this. And uh, we have some great people on the on the team, including Chris and Michelle and Hack and Michelle's on the call, Tufal Rathnaraj, my main man, Hanzala, Debo. So thank you guys. I love you guys. I couldn't do it without you. Uh, the uh, purpose of today's uh, call, you guys, is to uh, talk a little bit about uh, my uh, speaking score. And I want to get into uh, the, the call first by sort of framing the problem that I'm trying to uh, solve. And that is that, as you know, millions of people need a high TOEFL speaking score. And yet, uh, most of us lack the, the uh, access to really good practice tests or and this is key, the uh, feedback, what I call fast feedback, speech rater feedback to improve quickly. So you've heard from Josh, uh, who's uh, absolutely fantastic, and all the templates you need and the approaches that you can use strategically and tactically to answer questions. But for me, uh, when I work with students one-on-one, -on -one, it's about giving them the data that uh, that they uh, need to uh, improve, reflect on their decisions that they're making while they're giving responses and to, uh, and to really start implementing changes so that they can see the score climb uh, very, very uh, quickly. Um, uh, as uh, as uh, Philip said, I've been around for a long time. I spent 15 years in South uh, Korea. And in 2018, I left to build um, something i know i wanted to build something online and uh, we've been around now for about 18 months and we're growing uh, very very quickly you may have seen uh, kayla on my uh, knee there i'm going to try to keep her off the call but she's um my uh, five-year-old daughter that's my favorite job but for the next 20 minutes uh, i want to uh, just walk you through how i think you can use my speaking score really, really effectively uh, to help you get the results you uh, need. I am trying to build the most trusted platform for this niche. It's a very esoteric niche, isn't it, that we uh, inhabit? Josh uh, is a great uh, user, a great advocate. Uh, Michael Godin, who we love also, uh, trusts my speaking score. Jamie Miller, maybe you know. Is a, is a great client and a great uh, believer. In fact, we have uh, 742 teachers on the platform, close to 3,000 students are using us right now. And uh, we're growing, and I think we're growing because we use my speaking score uses uh, speech trainer, right? So we do, um, we have a deep uh, speech trainer uh, integration, and I'm sure you know that SpeechRater is the same software that scores your speaking responses on test day, right? 
I'm not here to give a talk about ETS's uh, scoring uh, methodology, but basically, uh, you know that you have a human rater assessing your speaking responses and speech rater assessing your speaking responses, and those scores are combined somehow. So uh, it, by getting uh, the speech rater data, you really get a good indication and a very valid and reliable estimate of what your uh, speaking range uh, could be on uh, on score day. And I don't know why anyone would start preparing for TOEFL <laughs> if you need a high TOEFL speaking score without knowing this in advance of walking in to the uh, to the uh, test center. I always say that SpeechRater is kind of like your personal AI TOEFL speaking coach who is always there for you and never, never lies to you. But you trust my speaking score because of SpeechRater, but you really love it because uh, we do one thing really, really well, right? And that's we give you your speaking score really, really quickly. So because we're so focused on improving speaking skills and giving you that fast feedback, it's really easy to go in, uh, to get into a test, to record a response and to get a score back like fast, right? Fast, fast, fast in a matter of seconds. So that's how we're building uh, trust. We have all kinds of success stories as well. I was just uh, finishing up a case study with a, with a Turkish woman who lives in New Jersey. And she had taken the TOEFL 13 times. 13 times, imagine that. It was starting to affect her life. Like she was worn down. It was affecting her marriage. Um, and uh, And you know what she found out uh, after 13 25s in a row is that it was just like a couple of small little changes, right? Standing be between her and, uh, and her uh, dream uh, score. So um, I want to uh, show you how simple it is and how you can start uh, hopefully uh, trusting uh, my speaking score. And it's very simple. It won't take long. I'm just going to walk you into the, uh, into a, uh, a student uh, dash. Um, can you guys see my see my screen? Okay. Let's make sure uh, I'm not uh, doing anything dumb here. You got that, everyone. Philip, you saw my deck. Yeah, it looks good to me. I'm inside a user's, thanks, Phil. I'm inside a user's uh, uh, dash uh, right now. And when you log into my speaking score, you um, have a very, very simple uh, dashboard that has all of your results here. I'll get that to, to get you that uh, more detail in a, in a minute. But the idea is that you can start with our test library. We have 11 now. I just completed four more, so we'll have 15 shortly. And, uh, and when you select a test on my speaking score, you can enter the test in practice mode or test mode. Test mode just duplicates the real test so that you don't have the ability to pause the test or uh, stop the test flow at all. But my favorite way to prepare for uh, a test to, to practice with students is to use practice mode. And that lets uh, you uh, gain more control over the test flow so you can expose the transcripts and you can record your response. You can stop your response. You can re-record your responses and so on. And all, all your responses um, get added to your uh, cart. And when you record a response, then you can send that response out to uh, to uh, SpeechRater. You may notice that on the uh, test tile as well, we record your SpeechRater scores for each particular task. And as you continue to take those tasks again and again, many students do, right? They take it in practice mode first, and then they take it in test mode again that your uh, scores will uh, increase. And we'll show you the top score here so that 
the uh, converted score you'll see on each tau represents your potential, right? your potential, theoretically, your potential uh, to SOFO speaking score, right? So um, it's really up to students to determine the best strategy, how to combine practice mode with test mode, how often to take it, and so on. But one of the things that... Um, that uh, happens when you record your responses inside the test. You can record right from your dash too if you're using uh, 30 third-party materials. But your tests uh, responses by task show up here in your in your responses. And uh, we have a quick view uh, setting here, so you can look very very quickly at your score. And you have the highlighted sort of top line results here that, that uh, I'll show you in just a minute, that give you some feedback on specific dimensions that are measured by SpeechReader. You have your waveform, of course, you can play your audio and download it. And uh, you can uh, launch a uh, your SpeechReader score in another tab. And this enables you to share your results with somebody like a teacher, right? You may wanna pass this along. Share this with your mom. Hey, mom, look at my score. Um, but um, the couple of things I want to show you with this particular user uh, is is uh, is his uh, is his journey. So you can see very very quickly that as uh, this guy was continuing as a Spanish speaker was continuing uh, to use my speaking score over time, you can see generally his uh, responses uh, getting getting much 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 stronger. We have, uh, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of responses now, and have crunched some uh, some data, and our data is showing, data are showing that uh, the average user needs about twenty eight days on the platform to increase three whole points on overall uh, TOEFL speaking score, and it's amazing because back in the day. When I was teaching in South Korea, I always used to say it's about 10 hours per point, 10 hours per point of deliberate practice. And I just kind of made that number up to set students' expectations at the time. So if you come to me and you got a 22 and you need a 26, there's probably going to be 40 hours of of work we got to put in here, maybe 20 with me and 20 on your own, but that type of thing. And it turns out that uh, using a self-guided approach without a, an expensive teacher and with some um, uh, good uh, speech rated data that you can make gains much faster uh, than that. And, and so I see this again and again and again on the platform. It's pretty amazing. So uh, clicking on the little eye gives you that at a glance uh, snapshot because maybe you don't want to examine your results, right? in detail every single time, but you can, of course, you can pop right in uh, to your speech reader dashboard here. And that gives you your speech reader score. I'll show you how we convert that in just a minute to an overall TOEFL speaking estimate, of course. Saying, hey, this means I'm gonna get 28 on the test is probably not the takeaway I want for you, right? <laughs> it's like, there are four tasks what this means, though, at a glance, is that if you're performing at this overall speech rater level for all four tasks consistently over time, you're likely in this range. And of course, we hear feedback from our students all the time who've come out of the test and say, oh my God, it's like exactly. So, uh, and we know that because this is ETS's uh, proprietary uh, speech rater scoring engine that we're hooked up to, right? Okay. So you can review your audio. Uh, you can take a look at your uh, transcript. We have parts of speech tagger here. This is the familiar at a glance um, uh, results across the 12 dimensions. Speaking rate, speaking rate, sustained speech, sustained speech, pause frequency, pause frequency. You get the idea. You'll become very familiar with these acronyms as you, uh, as you dive deeper into a uh, speech rater. Under the fluency construct, we have six dimensions. And what we have for you is an impact score, okay? 
And the impact score is based on our research about the, the likely weighting of each dimension. There's a lot of secretive stuff uh, that ETS doesn't share with us. Um, but we were able to make determinations. If you looked at, uh, if you're in Hawkins' uh, call yesterday, um, he got into this a little bit. What we've done is done some analytics and, and, and analysis on our data. And we know, for example, that uh, speaking rate and sustained speech are more, are more um, you know, important, uh, more reliable indicators of overall TOEFL speaking performance than you know, your repetition score, for example. Turns out that vocabulary depth is not as important as everyone thinks. Like teachers love to say, we got to work on your vocabulary. And that may be true in, for other parts of uh, the TOEFL, certainly reading, for example. But, but using sophisticated vocabulary is probably a bit over uh, overstated. But anyways, the idea here is just to give you an overview of what's capable, what's, what's possible here. And, and um, you can... Uh, take a look at uh, at the dimension uh, details under each one of these uh, dimensions. We'll tell you what your particular score is, the score of top achievers in each particular dimension. And then you can follow up if you want and read even more about each dimension in our knowledge base. And um, we have a nice table, a handy dandy table here that converts or that shows you what your likely range would be uh, for each particular score band in uh, SpeechRater. I just created another mega table. I've never seen anything like it that converts SpeechRater scores across every test you can think of from the IELTS to CEFR to um, Duolingo, TOEIC speaking, um, the uh, Canadian uh, one, the Pearson, et cetera. Uh, so if that's of interest to you, that score equivalencies, I'll be pushing that uh, next week. But the point is uh, here that SpeechRater, uh, it provides you that powerful feedback for each one of your tasks. And then it's up to you to figure out, okay, so what do I do in a lower uh, speaking uh, score, right? So let's go back down to maybe a, a relatively lower a score from my man Yusus. I love this guy. And so you can see that generally speaking, what could explain this low score is his relatively uh, low sustained speech score, right? Where he's just not speaking smoothly, okay? And so one of the things that I would do as a teacher is take a look at his uh, transcript and we can play the audio and we can try to say, what's going on here with this guy? And as a teacher, what would I do to, to, to get him to transform that, that relatively low score into something higher? Let's go. It's important to make the, to take the decision of what is the most important activity to, to make first. It's an example of making a, a cake. If we make a cake, we have the option or the, what is the first option? What is the more important thing that we can do? Okay. So you can see right away, it's kind of all over the place uh, there, right? So in this case, he's speaking quite quickly. And as I hinted at in Josh's presentation, when I chatted in that speed, speed, speed comment, Speaking rate as a proxy for fluency is a pretty powerful way to kind of, you know, like hack the overall TOEFL speaking score. Like if you can speak fast, it solves a lot of problems for you, right? As long as it's intelligible. There's a, probably a point where you speak so quickly that your pronunciation and intelligibility start to suffer. Right, and you'll get and you'll get hurt on uh, some other uh, measures uh, here, right? But uh, generally speaking, and you can experiment with this: the faster you speak, the you know the 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 better your uh, score. 
But this is a great example where he's speaking quickly, but his sustained speech score is is off. And so um, it's up to you to sort of figure out with our training or Josh's frameworks, how you would restructure a more orderly uh, approach uh, to try to get that uh, score up. But you can see, even for a self-guided student who is just using this data, this fast feedback to inform himself about changes, uh, that uh, he's starting to make significant uh, gains, right? And so if we look at some of his uh, more recent or later uh, answers, you can see that that he's starting to to work with our training. I have a free email course you can you can sign up for that shows you how to solve these problems using frameworks. Uh, I wrote a book, an eighty seven page book on on uh, that gets into case studies and does a deep dive on each one of these particular uh, uh, features and how you can uh, sort of uh, you know target one if you're a teacher or if you're a self-guided student. Uh, but the whole idea uh, behind uh, my speaking score is to give you the ability to use third party materials to record your response and get your uh, speech rate score and then allow you very easily to keep track of these scores and to uh, and to continue to take tests and to estimate your TOEFL speaking score, what that might be before you walk in there on on uh, on test day. There's some other stuff that you can do uh, as a as a student, uh, but my 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 job today is not to uh, to bury you in uh, in features. They call that uh, feature dump, right? Feature dump. So I, I'm not trying to dump a bunch of features on you. I'm trying to pique your interest and uh, and mostly try to persuade you uh, that. Um, we live in a world now where you need to be uh, looking at speaking not as a qualitative piece of your communicative production, right? Like there's no reason why we can't quantify your speaking performance in the same way that we can quantify your performance in the reading section, right? It's just something that we can do now. And um, Babette, I'll get that in a minute. The the uh, the point is, is that speech reader and AI in general uh, are really, really good at some uh, things, namely counting spaces between words, counting words. It's really, really good at uh, picking up uh, variations in your pronunciation compared to an index of uh, of native speakers, stuff like that. Let me tell you where SpeechRate is not great at right now, and that is a topic development. So you could be off topic and SpeechRate won't pick that up because SpeechRate is measuring other aspects, right? There's no keyword trapping. I'm actually building that in right now uh, trying to use some some AI and tech to, to also evaluate your topic development score. But you could right now read in, as Josh was saying, you could read in a, you know, an article from the New York Times and in response to a, a prompt, an unrelated response and get a score back, right? So it's not going to say, that was great, but you should have been talking about <laughs> the new auditorium <laughs> at the university and you were reading me your, you know, grandma's recipe about how to make spaghetti sauce or something. So it's not it's not great at that. But the whole idea is that you have no incentive, right, to try to mislead the speech rate. We've given you all the tests and uh, and the ability to get your uh, your scores back. It does work really well with a teacher. And we have a, a very robust teacher uh, platform. So if you're a teacher on the call, you can reach out to me. It's not in the public domain right now, but there's a way that you can onboard your students, look at their scores. We allow you to upload responses and do all kinds of other really crazy stuff. But I think I'm talking to students now on the call and, uh, and students who want uh, a very easy way to have lots and lots of practice with, with really reliable tests. We have three tests published by ETS, 
and uh, um, 12 now uh, from our own in-house test uh, prep uh, team. And of course, all that uh, all that speech reader uh, data. Yeah, Babette's asking, is it possible to use speaking practices outside of my speaking square website, but wants to use? Yeah, totally. People do it all the time. And in fact, so you have your own test library or you have the practice tests from uh, from uh, ETS, from what we you know, one of their uh, one of their uh, books or whatever. Sure. Yeah. Just just um, let me make sure I, I, that was super clear for you guys. I do it all the time. So it's like I got my own I got my own material and I can I could just record right off here. Right. So let me say um, looking at my my book and it's like, um, do you think children should be rewarded for performing household chores around? the house like oh yeah this is a, a great question i do believe that children should be financially incentivized to perform household chores and i believe that for a couple of reasons and you could replay it and then you can add that to your uh, to your cart and then get that get that scored and so and if you're a teacher and your student sends you a file you can upload that file and uh, we, we you can do a batch upload. A lot of teachers, you know what they do? They actually provide this as a service. So they say to their students, send me your send me your audio files and I'll send you back your score and your speech rater report. And uh, if you're a teacher, we can let you white label that. So put your own logo on that or whatever. I hope does that answer your question, Babette? Hey, so um, what we're going to do is, uh, is uh, Michelle, you're on the call, eh? Michelle, can you paste in the, the link, Philip's link? So I want you to uh, see that there's a, a sign-up uh, link here that you can use, especially from EFL uh, Magazine. And, and uh, if you want... Also, uh, after you uh, register, I'm going to know that you came from this meeting. So sign up. And uh, if you're interested, reach out to Michelle at myspeakingscore.com. And what we'll do for you on the call today is, uh, is I'll put some uh, credits into your account. We'll put four credits into your account. And uh, I'll unlock all of the all of the tests, a standard registration without this uh, uh, you know, setup today, you can come in, we have three tests unlocked for you, but you have to buy credits. And the credits, we have a scale, you can buy uh, 44 credits for $99, it's not that expensive, right? Uh, but uh, but I want everyone to on the call uh, to have an opportunity to check it out. And so uh, Michelle will uh, will hook you up, and we can also give you a, a discount code. I think Michelle, right, to save on on bigger credit purchases. But look, my 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 uh, intention here is not to sell you anything. I hope that you become a customer, but I want to show you the power of uh, of Speech Trader and the power of developing uh, an approach that is going to save you time and save you the pain of going back into that testing center a second time. We say that around my speaker score is the TOEFL speaking is the, or the TOEFL is a test you only want to take once, right? So uh, give yourself uh, every advantage and uh, and get the feedback you need to know when you're, when you're uh, ready. So that's my message to you. Um, Guys, does anyone have any questions? Does anyone want to come on and and uh, and ask me anything? Karen Kim is on the call. I wanted to say hi to you, Karen, directly. Um. So, thanks, uh, Philip, for putting this dog and pony show together. I love meeting new people. You know, the the uh when I did this last the last time, I think we last year we had uh we were brand new. 
I don't even think we had any tests last year. It was just like, it did like a microphone button. And so we've built it out significantly. Uh, and, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, Babat, I'm hooking you up. Don't, don't worry. I just got a message from, uh, from uh, Philip. So we're going to, we're going to take care of you. Please reach out to, uh, Michelle, uh, Babat, uh, and, uh, with your, so we have your email address and I'll take care of you. So I'll set you up. Um, but anyways, guys, listen, most importantly, yeah, Vina, if, you know what? That's a, that's a great question. <laughs> What we say to the world is this is totally focused on the TOEFL speaking niche. It's why we started it. It's what we do, right? But we do have other products, including something that I'm building now, which is an API. It's called Go. And SpeechRater can handle, believe it or not, recordings up to uh, seven minutes in length. So um, there's a way to put another front end on speech reader data to make it interpretable for other test takers. And uh, our next, uh, we're working with Josh on something that uh, hopefully will be uh, released in uh, in the fall. Uh, so you could say, yeah, you know, theoretically, uh, I should be able to convert my speech reader score, as I said at the top of the call, into other meaningful um scores and so you should be able to use it for all kinds of other things like the ielts or whatever it's gonna be cool yeah yeah, yeah. cool 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 ielts uh is 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 <laughs> well i'm not gonna get started right now other to say sure if you are teaching test prep speaking test prep for any test you'll find the data a really rich way uh to interact with your uh, students I got to say this one, you know, finally, and that is uh, teachers love using my speaking score because when you're on a Zoom call with a student, you could just point to a chart, right? Now you're on a graph and you can say, why is this, <laughs> why is your pronunciation score so low? All right. And then let's make some changes. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can move that line, right? Let's move the line. It's so exciting when you see those lines moving and you see that score increasing in a short period of time. The other, the other use case is you don't see it moving. In the case of that uh, Turkish uh, pharmacist that I mentioned at the top of the call, her problem was she was so dug in to a strategy and she thought she just keeps doing the same thing. She's going to somehow get lucky, right? It doesn't work that way. It's a standardized test. It's super valid. It's super reliable. It's if you do the same thing, it's going to give you the same result basically. Right? So, so, um, you know, hoping that you're going to have a good, have a good day. If you're stuck at a, at a level, you need to make changes. What changes do you need to make? A uh, speech reader. Right. For her, it was her speaking rate and sustained speech. Too many uh, uh, pauses and uh, she wasn't speaking fast enough. Guys, if you can learn one thing from me today, whether or not you use my speaking score, whether or not you seek out speech rated data to improve your performance, just speak up, speed up, speed up. You got to get your speaking rate up to 150 words per minute. Our data says actually 158 words per minute is the mean speaking rate for people in the 26 plus range. Meaning, it's very unlikely that you're gonna get a TOEFL speaking score of 26 if you can't speak at 150 words a minute. And it's not gonna happen for you, right? So you gotta measure that. Okay. Anybody else? Philip, thank you. Thanks as always, John. It was awesome, it's man. It's been, been a pleasure. And uh, we've got a, a few watching on uh, YouTube. And uh, yesterday's video is clocking up some nice views. So um, let's hope uh, everybody hears the good news about uh, my speaking score. And um, at the top of the hour, we have Karen Kim. So if uh, everyone wants to take a break before then, about 10 minutes, I'm going to uh, get some tea. Uh, so I'll see you in 10 minutes. Thanks, everyone. Ciao.